The holidays are just around the corner and that means for a lot of businesses it's one of the most hectic and intensive marketing seasons. But for other businesses it's a time to slow down. It's a time to pull back. So today we're going to be talking about if you should be investing more or investing less during the holiday season. So let's get into it. My name is Darren Cabral and I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps companies build their brand, generate more leads and get more sales online. So today we're talking about marketing through the holidays, okay? If you're trying to decide where you gotta spend your money through December, January, maybe even starting in November, there's a lot to consider. So firstly, I will tell you, when it comes to marketing on social media, it is one of the most competitive times to advertise for sure. However, that is true in only specific industries, particularly anything e-commerce. So when you're selling products online, you have a Shopify store, whatever it is, you're a big retailer, it's a busy, busy month. The month of December is crazy. You will have the most competition, the most people trying to outspend you, and your ads will get a lot more expensive. So you can expect that if you're running ads for e-commerce in December, your costs are gonna go up quite a bit. That is just because social media ad platforms are an auction system. The more people that are bidding for attention in space, the more expensive that attention in space basically goes up. So if you're an e-commerce company, you have a couple choices. You can either double down and push hard because it is also a big month. And I still think it is 100% worth advertising, even in e-commerce. It's gonna cost you more, but people are in the mood for buying, especially if you start in that late November, mid-November period, Black Friday, people are in that shopping mood. They wanna spend money, they wanna buy things, and then when we come into the holidays and Christmas and all of that, people are buying gifts. Everybody is in that shopping and spending mood for themselves, their family, their friends. It's a time where a lot of people, maybe the last few months, they've not been shopping much, and December comes and they go all out. They're racking up the credit cards, they're buying as much as they can. It is a time of shopping, so even though it's gonna be more expensive for you as a business to run ads, you're probably gonna see a lot more conversion and a lot more purchases because there's a lot more customers buying stuff than usual. So if you're an e-com, it's worth it. Now, if you're not an e-com, is it worth the investment? Let's say you're a service company, okay? You're a painting company, landscape company, cleaning company, whatever it is, your local home services. Should you be running ads through the holidays? Do people still hire service companies? Maybe people wait, they don't even bother until January. I think if you're a service company, that's the time to pivot to brand awareness. It's a really good time to slow down your offer making, you know, you're not trying to put out the next trendy big like, you know, clean your house in the middle of Christmas. No one's doing it, right? They're busy, there's stuff going on. It might not be the right time, okay? But what you can do during December is take that time to keep top of mind. People are slowing down, it's year end, they got a lot on their mind, but if you can be there just talking about, you know, your brand, their problems, how you solve them. And again, we've made videos on this before, but keep your marketing customer focused and just use that time to get in front of them, build their brand, get them familiar with your name, with your company, with your services, with everything that you do and how it can help them. That's a good time. If you're doing anything related to charity during the holidays, run some ads on that. Get some awareness around your local community involvement, your charity involvement. That's a good time to just keep in front of customers. You don't have to hard sell them because a lot of people are not making any sort of service-based decisions in the holidays. There's just too much stuff going on. They'll push to the new year. Everyone does that. I'll, I'll get to the new year, I'll get to it in January. They're just trying to get through the holidays at that point, they have enough going on. It's hard to convert service-based clients in December, okay? Let's just face it. But it's a really great time because a lot of competitors are stopping. They're not running ads either. They're slowing down. It's a great time to just get in front of your customer, keep in front of them, nurture them, warm them up, and build that relationship. Maybe drive them back to your social, focus on building your community, focus on charity and giving back. So when January does come and they need something, you're the first name they remember and the first name they think about. So I think having a strong awareness based Marketing strategy in December is critical to having a really strong big January, February, March, and overall Q1. Versus if you wait until Q1 to start your marketing, you're kind of behind the game. By the time it picks up, you're already going into Q2 and you're behind all the competitors, right? So keep your advertising running in December. Don't stop it. Just change up the strategy a little bit if you're in a service company. So that's that. That's pretty much my opinion on running ads during the holidays. Hopefully that helps some of you with your holiday marketing and planning. And if you've already started doing something, maybe you can adjust or pivot a little bit based on what we talked about today. Don't forget, if you have any questions, you could drop a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. We drop new videos every single Friday. During the holidays, we might slow, out, slow down a little bit, but we do our best to keep getting new content out for you guys. I'll see you on the next video.